Hey, glad you're up. Russia flexing its muscle now by sending a nuclear message to America. Got a spokeswoman for the Pacific Air Force in Hawaii confirmed that just days ago, two nuclear-armed bombers from Russia circled the U.S. territory of Guam before being intercepted by American military jets. Is this proof that Russia is uh, becoming a greater threat to the U.S. than the administration has led on, known all along but doesn't want to tell us? Bill Gert, senior editor of the Washington Free Beacon, joins us live from Washington. Bill, what do you read into this? Well, Brian, I think it's pretty clear that, you know, when I asked the uh, Air Force spokeswoman why the Russians were doing this, she told me to ask the Russians, which is kind of a joke. Uh, I think this was clearly a simulated nuclear attack on the United States, and it's not the first time. This is actually the third incident where Russian strategic bombers have come close to U.S. coast. The last one in June was part of a major strategic exercise where a Russian general actually said they were practicing uh, targeting our missile defense bases in uh, Alaska and California. What's our response been? Uh, silence, pretty much. Uh, the administration is trying to salvage their reset policy, which has been a, pretty much of a disaster. It's been totally one way. The U.S. makes concessions, the Russians pocket them, and continue on a more aggressive and more anti-democratic posture. Now, uh, why do you think that is? I mean, it didn't seem that long ago where George Bush was riding around Vladimir Putin and they talked about a new era in U.S.-Russian uh, relations. What has gone wrong? What is their complaint with us? Well, the Russians under Putin uh, are trying to remove, move back into the Soviet period. They, they see that as the glory days, and they're, they're rebuilding their military. They're building up their nuclear forces in a major way. At the same time, uh, the U.S. is getting ready for further nuclear cuts. And that is happening right now. We want to cut our arsenal by another, uh, uh, by another third. There's been right. no response. Now Secretary of State Kerry picks up the phone to talk to his counterpart in Russia. No, re no return call until yesterday. Yes. And uh, one of the chief U.S. arms negotiators, Rose Gottmuller, was in Russia almost at the same time that this bomber incident occurred, and she didn't, never even raised this issue. She's uh, looking to try to get a new round of arms talks going. And, Bill, politically, it seems as if everything is blamed internally on Russia. Everything that goes wrong, they bring it back to America. They're trying to create an anti-American feeling again inside Russia. Is it working? Uh, well, you know, I think the Russian people look, still look at the U.S. as a, a beacon of freedom and, and want that. Uh, of course, the Putin regime has kind of taken Russia in, back into the Soviet days, and I think he's kind of appealing to the hardliners in the Russian military who are in the midst of this uh, military buildup. Bill Gertz, Washington Beacon, thanks so much.